In just a matter of hours, a jury could decide if a former deputy killed his wife. Tonight, the lawyers defending Tom Fallis are getting personal on the attack, trying to prove he didn't kill her and that she instead committed suicide. Denver 7's Mark Stewart live on this story. Nothing off limits today. No, hi, Teresa. Even though Ashley Fallis is dead, her personal life became very public. The jury heard testimony from the man with whom she was having an affair, all part of the defense team's plan to convince the jury she took her own life. This is the man who admits to having an affair with Ashley Fallis, a relationship that ended months before her death. He shared with the jury stories from the past to convince them she was capable of suicide. Were you aware of Ashley Fallis carrying a loaded gun in her purse? Yes. Did Ashley Fallis seem comfortable with, with the firearm? Yes. The jury also heard about a fake email account created by Ashley pretending to be her husband Tom so she could send her lover messages, part of an attempt to portray her as unstable. Yet prosecutors fought back, telling the jury of a confrontation in a parking lot in an effort to prove Tom was capable of murder. Tom Faust's behavior scared you enough that you locked your doors, right? Yes. Rolled up the windows. Yes. You could hear him cussing. Tom Fallis' defense team is dredging up Ashley's past, calling one of her friends to depict her as troubled. Would she say things to you um, that she couldn't go on or couldn't do this anymore? She did say that a few times. Both sides will make their closing arguments first thing in the morning. Tom Fallis will not testify. Live in the newsroom, Mark Stewart, Denver 7.